Hello fellow wholehearted high achievers, welcome to Hanging with Hang. Today in the spirit of the love day, the happy Valentine day, I am bringing extra love, love in this video for you today. We have a, a heart back there for you and I'm wearing the You've Got Love shirt just to make sure you get extra love on today, right? Whether you're single, taken, in a simple relationship, complicated relationship, swing relationship, engaging, marry, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever you in, I'm sending you so much love and joy your way because we all could use love. And in the spirit of love, I feel inspired to share with you a few simple steps how to fall in love with yourself. Now, if you like me on an old version of me, I mean, you probably think this is, this is ridiculous. Why would anybody want to fall in love with yourself, right? There's a part of me still judging that because it could sound obnoxious, it could sound selfish. But here, here is why, guys. I mean, after many years of going through my own heartbreak, I've arrived to a place where I finally understand the importance and the significance of falling in love with yourself. Because when you fall in love with yourself, when you mastering the art, you bringing the love back, you bring the peace, the fulfillment back in your heart you can bring the love, the wholeness to somebody else instead of needing somebody else outside of you to make you happy, you could choose to be in a relationship to make yourself happy. So at least that's what I'm figuring out so far. So I'm gonna share with you what I'm figuring out so far. So then all my pain and suffering will mean something. And Believe me, for me personally, heart pain is probably one of the worst pain. And why would I want to talk about heart pain on Valentine's Day, right? Well, some of you may be experiencing that. But anyway, either way, like I said, whatever relationship dynamic that you're in, you may be single, you may, I think we all could use more self-love and more falling in love with yourself. Because the more you feel in here, the more you can bring it to the relationship. And if you're not in relationship, you can bring it to the next relationship with the right person for you who choose and want to be with you instead of feeling obligated and need to be with you. You follow me on this? That would be very suffocating to be in that kind of relationship, right? So anyway, I'm gonna drink a little bit of water first and then resume my thought. Okay, so what are my steps to fall in love with yourself? Step number one, first, I think it's important for you to understand the distinction that self-love is not being selfish because we all going to have a tendency to do that. As a wholehearted and empathic caring person myself, uh, that would be my first instinct. As a person loving yourself, you being selfish, but here's the thing. If you don't love yourself, if you don't feel your own tank, you can't bring it to anywhere else, whether you're a mom, a sister, a wife, a husband, a brother. If you're not happy inside and if you're not feel inside, that crap gonna come out to people around you. So therefore, ultimately, you are being selfish in the long term. The second thing is to let go of the judgment. Whatever part, whatever part of yourself that you don't like about, how can you fall in love with a person that you're constantly judging themselves, right? Because like they say, when you fall in love, you have that filter everything about that person looked amazing, you know? And then when the reality hit, you see. So then you have to come to that with yourself. You have fall in love is the opposite of that, right? Reflect your own judgment. You gotta take, let go of all those judgment of yourself. And by letting that go, then you can come to the third thing is meaning to accepting all part of yourself. How can you fall in love with a person where you don't wanna be with? Because what the, what is the fall in love feelings like? When you fall in love, I mean, if you, you know, fall in love before, we feel excited, you want to spend more time with the person, and when you're with the person, time just fly, right? You want to be present with that person. So then, how can you replicate that experience with yourself? So if you have so much judgment to yourself, you cannot accept that you are short, you cannot accept that you get angry sometimes, that you have your shadow size, that you have all these ugly sides, as you call it, how can you have that time where you can truly enjoy yourself? 
you know you gotta come to that acceptance of your range because here's the thing we all have love in us and we all have fear in us guys you can live your life through the extension of fear and be scared where your head gets in the way or extension of love we all have that I mean, I would be lying to you if I say I'm lovey all the time. Well, I'm happy to be in a good mood right now, so that's why I'm doing this video. If I'm not in a good mood, I probably wouldn't do it. Do I get angry? Do I get fearful? Yes. And I think it's important that we get to acknowledge all of that. So that's number three. Now, uh, number four is when you get to acceptance of yourself, I think it's important to really check in with yourself and ask, how can I be the extension of love? Because it's, loving is a conscious choice. Choosing to fall in love with yourself is a conscious choice. You make time and space to choose to love yourself. And you also make time and space to choose to love somebody else. And it's a lot harder to actually do things from a place of love than a place of fear, in my humble opinions. It's, it takes conscious and it takes a lot of uh, discomfort to break the old pattern because majority of society is living in fear. So then for you to come from a place of love, it takes really real courage for you to connect to your heart and let your heart lead the way. Because the smarter and intelligent you are, the more the mind gonna try to get in and fight it. So instead of fight the mind and have them battle each other, utilize, utilize and let the mind help you and work with you. So ultimately, Falling in love is to bring that fulfillment, that peace back to yourself. Because if you don't, you're going to love yourself through the other. For me, my personal stories is that, you know, I was in a committed relationship for the longest time. And I, I was with this amazing man who loved me so deeply, who loved me before I loved myself, who accept me before I accept myself. And at the same time, because of that, he filled a void for me. And I didn't have to do the work myself. And in the process of being with him, I had all these crazy many girl crush along the way that I didn't know. You know, I went through like a, a lot of period of different pain of sexuality, confusion, self-judgment, self-beating, you name it. Uh, I read all the come out book and nothing really fit until I really come to arrive to, to the main thing that I've learned is like, is I love myself through these women that I had a crush for. And I judge myself so harshly because of what the box I think it should be. In reality, love is just so fluid. Love is, love is a flow. And the, everybody why differently. And for me, um, to not compare myself to everybody and to really come to my own experience and, and understand how my own heart and how my own system is wiring. So it takes a lot of acceptance. So all these things I'm teaching you right now, I have to learn it the hard way for myself, right? Uh, I used to judge people who care about themselves too much as selfish. And I used to have so much hard judgment on myself. I judged that, oh my God, you must be gay. Oh my God, why would you do this? Why would you be this? Why would you feel this when you're with uh, a nice man? Um, you know, and why would you feel that? Why would you be so angry? Why would you be so jealous? Like all these judgments. And, um, and then my journey is to come to letting go of the judgment and to finally come to acceptance of myself for who I am and the way I'm wired. And hopefully this can mirror whatever journey you're in. And I come to fully accept that I have a big ass heart. And because of the majority part of my life as an athlete, I was tapping to my head more than my heart, so I suffocate my heart, and it bring out all of these pain. I suffocate my feeling, and be able to come to terms of who I am, how I feel, that I am an empathic person, I am a loving person. It doesn't really matter if I'm straight or I'm gay, really, you know? Because when you love somebody, you love somebody. So that's a lesson for me, because I judge harshly of gay people for the longest time, because that's the culture I grew up in. I judge harshly everything because of the way that I was boxed and the way I've learned and I have to go through my own journey to let go of those judgment and to be able to come to acceptance that it's okay. It doesn't really matter what everybody else said. You have to be okay and in turn with yourself to come to acceptance of that. 
And by coming to acceptance of that, you get to connect to your own heart. And, and for me, to finally, to let go of the deepest love, which is the man that I was with, that was devastating for me because he was the fix. You know, he was the external love that filled the void inside that I didn't have because I didn't know how to love myself. I didn't fall in love with myself. So the pain, the painful journey is for me to learn how to find my way back and how to fall in love back with myself and how to be content within myself. So then I don't need another person outside of me to make me happy. And I hope that's the case for you too. So then now I'm in a place where I can be in a relationship where I am already happy. I want to be in a relationship with somebody who want to be in it. So then you don't get into the whole codependent uh, dynamic. So that was my journey and that's how I arrived at this point. Every day I choose to come from a place, how do I extend my love in every moment and everything that I do. And it's not easy because being human, we get angry, we get jealous, all those. I have all those things, guys. So it is a practice, it's a conscious practice. So then when fear come in, I, I've personally learned to acknowledge it and let it flow through and choose to be in love because ultimately we are a conduit of love, an extension of us. And when you love love, when you love yourself, when you fall in love with yourself, I believe that's when the true miracle is happening. And that's the reason why I feel inspired to make this video to share with you, to invite you to fall in love with yourself, even though it may sound freaking ridiculous. Because see, there's a part of me still judging that. There, there are times still, now that I'm teaching so much about self-love, love connection, all that kind of stuff, I still think a lot of the thing that I do is cheesy because there's a little part of me still judging all of it. So I'm working through it as you guys are. So anyway, thank you for listening to me on Valentine's Day. This video is longer than I anticipated because there is no script. I just flow with the idea. My friend, thank you so much for being in my world. And I'm going to wrap it up with the idea that it's okay to connect to you. It's okay to be different to honor the way that you wire uniquely and it is what is. Happy Valentine to you, sending you so much love, so much joy extra on this day. You've got love from my heart to yours and may your heart be filled with even more love. Thank you for being here and aloha until next time.